Hey everyone, this is the video on what you need to know about integers. Integers are whole numbers that can be positive or negative. The key in this is to realize that we are talking about whole numbers and not anything like a fraction or a decimal. Integers can be used in multiple applications, such as debt, water depth, and there are other uses for them too. Basic operations can also be performed with integers, but you need to choose which way is going to work for you. This is really important that you make that decision after seeing both ways. Now, we've gone over both of these ways in class already, so my hope is that by you watching it here, that will help you see the connections that exist. One way to look at this we're going to start with is visualizing integers with algebra tiles. Remember that with algebra tiles, yellow ones represent positive numbers, and these represent negative numbers. That's really important. Look at the following equation. Here you have 7 plus negative 15. That is represented by having 7 positives and 15 negatives. And if you remember the app that we used, when you drag one of those over top to unlike colors, they cancel each other out. They make them disappear. And then what you're left with is eight red tiles. And because they are red, that means that they're negative. So our answer here would be negative eight. If you use this strategy, adding and subtracting integers uses the colors of tiles to get your answer. So that's, again, really important. Let's look at this equation. Negative 6 plus negative 17 equals negative 23. That's visualizing 6 red and 17 red added together, which gives us 23 red or negative 23. In this equation, we have 17 plus negative 13. Here you have 17 yellow, 13 red. 13 of those get canceled out, and you're left with 4 left over, which are yellow, which gives you a positive answer of 4. If the equation looks like 14 minus 19, rewrite the equation to make it an addition question. That's done by changing the value of the second number into a negative. So instead of saying 14 minus 19, now you have 14 plus negative 19. Same application we looked at before, 14 of those tiles get canceled out. We're left with five red ones, which gives us an answer of negative five. Subtracting positives is the same as adding negatives. It is the same operation. Here are some more examples for you to look at. 13 minus 29, 11 minus 17, and 124 minus 431. Rewriting these equations, we have 13 plus negative 29. I didn't write that because I used the red color for you to see it. That's 11 plus negative 17 and 124 plus negative 431. If you want, go ahead and write in those little plus symbols if it makes it easier for you to see, but I was hoping that the different colors would help you see what was going on there. It gets a little bit more confusing when you have an equation that looks something like this, when you are subtracting a negative. So in this example, 14, negative 14 minus negative 13 and negative 18 minus negative 18. So let's look at what you're supposed to do when you have these types of situations. When these occur, the suit, the two side-by-side -side minus signs cancel each other out. Think of it like the magnet example I gave in class, creating a positive sign. So, negative 12 minus negative 15, which looks like this, 
then will change and become ne 12, negative 12 plus 15. Once that's given, I have 3 left over. That double negative right there is what changed that into the opposite value that you see. Try these questions, then pause the video and check your work. Okay, here are your solutions. 14 minus 22 equals negative 8. 18 plus negative 21 equals negative 3. Negative 19 minus negative 12 equals negative 7. And negative 21 plus negative 21 equals negative 42. Now, if the algebra tile method of visualizing look <clears throat> for this doesn't work for you, we can transition and look at number lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. For number lines to work, you need to know that the operations of addition and subtraction have to go with different directions. Adding always goes to the right, and subtraction always goes to the left. So look at this number line and look at the equation. 4 minus 7 is saying 4 minus 7. The first number tells you where to start. The second number tells you how many places to go. And the operation tells you what direction. So 4 minus 7 ends at negative 3, which is my final answer. In this example, negative 9 minus 10, I'm starting at negative 9 moving to the left exactly 10 spaces, giving me a final answer of negative 19. In this example, negative 4 plus 9, negative 4 is where I start. I'm going to move to the right a total of 9 spaces, landing me exactly at 5, which is my answer. Solve these questions. Draw a number line to help you. Pause and check your answers in a moment. Eight minus 14 equals negative six. 17 minus 31 equals negative 14. And negative 14 minus negative 17 equals a positive three. That's because this is rewritten as negative 14 plus 17 because we have two negative side by side and they cancel each other out. Now, what we just went over doesn't apply to multiplying and dividing integers. There are three simple rules that you just have to know. Positive times positives equal positive answers. Negative times negative equals positive answers. The only combination that gives you a negative answer is when you have a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, because remember, commutative property tells us it doesn't matter the order and multiplication. This is true for dividing integers as well. Answer these questions, pause the video, and check your work. Okay, we have 41 times 27, 34 times negative 3, and negative 11 times negative 14. I use traditional multiplication. I can go over lattice with you in class if you'd like, but it would not change the rules that we use, where we got a positive answer, a negative answer, and then another positive answer at the end. If you have any questions, please ask me in class or rewatch this video as many times as you need. Thanks.